The Defense Department plans to send a few dozen U.S. troops to the Middle East in the coming days to be ready to help Americans flee a region bracing for a significant escalation in the simmering conflict between Israel and the Iranian-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon, according to three defense officials. The U.S. forces will add to the roughly 40,000 troops already in the region, a presence that has grown as the war between Israel and Hamas continued and tensions with Hezbollah intensified. The new troops will have a different mission, the officials said, specifically to be on standby if the fighting between Israel and Hezbollah threatens Americans and evacuations are needed. Major General Pat Ryder, Pentagon Press Secretary, would not say how many more forces would be deployed or what they would be tasked to do. In light of increased tension in the Middle East and out of an abundance of caution, we are sending a small number of additional U.S. military personnel forward to augment our forces that are already in the region," Ryder said. But for operational security reasons, I'm not going to comment on or provide specifics. Earlier, the aircraft carrier USS Harry S. Truman, two Navy destroyers and a cruiser set sail from Norfolk, Virginia, headed to the 6th Fleet area in Europe on a regularly scheduled deployment. The ship's departure opens up the possibility that the U.S. could keep both the Truman and the aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln, which is in the Arabian Gulf, in the region in case more violence breaks out. The new deployments come after significant strikes by Israeli forces against targets inside Lebanon that have killed hundreds and as Israel is preparing to conduct further operations. After almost a year of war against Hamas in Gaza, Israel is shifting its focus to its northern frontier, where Hezbollah has been firing rockets into Israel in support of its ally Hamas. U.S. President Joe Biden's administration has been seeking to contain the conflict to Gaza and has repeatedly called for the Israel-Lebanon border crisis to be resolved through diplomacy. A series of Israeli airstrikes struck the town of Habouch in southern Lebanon on Monday. Lebanon's health ministry says a wave of Israeli airstrikes across the country on Monday have killed at least 100 people and wounded more than 400. The ministry said that the preliminary toll included women and children. The Israeli military said it struck 300 targets in Lebanon as it steps up pressure against the Hezbollah militant group. It is one of the most intense barrages of airstrikes in nearly one year of fighting against Hezbollah. As Israel was carrying out the attacks, Israeli authorities reported a series of air raid sirens in northern Israel warning of incoming rocket fire from Lebanon.